Hi. Now, for this part, we've got to find the equation of the tangent then to the curve C at the point P here in the form Ay equals x plus b, where the constants a and b are to be found in terms of pi. So, in order to do this, basically what I'm going to do is just say, think of the graph. Okay, now the graph that we've got here looks pretty complicated. So just imagine it looks, say, something like that. Not that it does, but we've got a point P. Let's say this is our point P over here at pi, pi upon 8. And then we're looking for the equation of the tangent to the curve. So let's say it's looking something like that. The equation of tangent we know is a straight line. It's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And we've got x1, y1. x1 is pi, y1 is pi upon 8. What we haven't got is m, the gradient. So we're going to need to differentiate our curve. Find, in other words, dy by dx. But the first thing that strikes me here is that it's x in terms of y rather than y in terms of x. So we could try and make y the subject, but that would be virtually impossible. So what I'm going to do is find dx by dy and then take the reciprocal of that and then we can get dy dx. Substitute our values in, get the gradient dy dx, substitute it into here and work towards this format. So that's where I'm going with this. So first of all then, we want to differentiate this, find dx by dy. So therefore, if we differentiate this, now what we've got here is two functions of y. So we're going to need to use the product rule. And the product rule, remember, if you saw it in your book of tables or formula book, whatever, it's going to look something like this. But essentially, what we do is we think of this then in two parts here. We've got one part, let's say it's the 8y, and the other part is the tan 2y. We take one part, times it by the differential of the other part, and then plus take one part and times it by the differential of the other one. So that's where I'm going. Let's take this part, 8y. You can do this in any order, it doesn't matter, 8y, and now we've got to multiply it by the differential of tan 2y. And in order to do this, we've got to use the chain rule. With practice, you should be able to do it straight off, but I'll take you through that, okay? What I do is I say, let, say, t be equal to the 2y. So what we're trying to do is differentiate with respect to y tan of 2y. So... And how does this work? Well, we use the chain rule here, and we say that this is exactly the same as differentiating with respect to t, tan of t. Remember, 2y is t, so differentiating tan of t, and then multiplying this by dt by dy. It's as if those two dt's cancel out, and we're left with the differential of tan 2y, okay, with respect to y. So this is what I would be basically thinking of doing, okay, when it comes to differentiating the tan of 2i. So we'll take you through this, okay. So we differentiate tan t with respect to t. So differential of tan t is sec squared t. So here I'm just going to write that this is sec squared okay, of t, but remember t is 2y, so we've got 2y there. So we've done that bit there, and we multiply it by dt dy, so we differentiate t here with respect to y, and that's just going to give me 2, so I'll bracket that off and put the 2 there. I put the brackets around this, otherwise it's going to look like the sec squared of 4y, and it's not, okay, it's 2 sec squared 2y. Okay, so that's the first part of the product rule. Now it's going to be plus, and then we take the other part, which is tan 2y, so I'll put that in brackets, tan of 2y, and we multiply this 
by the differential of 8y with respect to y, which is 8. And there we have our product rule. OK, so just to recap, this part in here, OK, differentiating sex squared 2y, we did over here. This was basically the chain rule for that part there. All right. Now all we need to do next is find out what dx by dy is when y equals pi upon 8. And then we should be able to get dy by dx. Okay, So just going to say then that when y equals pi over 8, what we've got is that therefore dx by dy is going to equal well, we're going to have 8 here times y, so that's 8 times pi upon 8. And then we've got sex squared, I'll put that in brackets as well, sex squared of 2 times y, so that's going to be 2 times pi upon 8, which is pi upon 4. And then that's multiplied by that 2 there. And then we've got 8 times the tan of 2y. So I'll put the 8 there. Tan of 2y, that's going to be the tan of 2 lots of pi upon 8. So that's pi upon 4. And you could use your calculator here. But this is quite an easy one, actually. You could do it in your head, really. The 8s cancel here, for instance. And... I know that tan of pi upon 4, that's 1, so uh, we're just going to get 8 here. I'll just cross, or I'll tell you what, we'll just put that, that part there equals 1, okay, there. Uh, 6 squared pi upon 4, that's the same as 1 over cosine squared of pi upon 4, and that would be 1 divided by 1 over root 2 all squared. So that comes out at 2, but you can try it out on your calculator anyway. So what we get is that this is equal to 2 times the 2 there, which is 4. So you're going to get 4 pi. 4 pi for that. And then for this term here, it's just going to be plus 8. OK, so that's dx dy. And so therefore, we can say that dy by dx, just squeeze that in there must be the reciprocal of this. So it must be 1 divided by 4 pi plus 8. OK, so we've got m our gradient here. So all we need to do now to get the equation of the tangent, let's just come down there. I'm going to remove this, OK, is that therefore the equation of the tangent, just give an intro here, equation of tangent, at P, all right, at P is, and then using that form, Y minus Y1, so it's going to be Y minus, we've got Y1, the Y coordinate is pi upon 8, equals M, the gradient, which we know is 1 divided by 4 pi plus 8, and then that's multiplied with X minus X1, X minus the pi that we've got here. Now we've got to rearrange this into this form here, ay equals x plus b. So if we're to get the x here, then we need to multiply through by 4 pi plus 8. So if we do that, you're going to get 4 pi plus 8 times the y. And then you're going to have minus pi upon 8 times the 4 pi plus 8. And here we're just going to have 1 times x minus pi. So it's going to equal x minus pi. And I can see that what we've got is 4 pi plus 8, 4 pi plus 8 times the y. So we've got our first part here. And expanding this bracket here, I can see that we're going to have minus. 4 pi squared over 8, or minus pi squared over 2. So I'm going to add that to the other side. So I've got x plus pi squared over 2. So that's coming from here. And then I've got minus pi. The 8's cancel, so I've got minus pi. And if I add then that pi to both sides, I'm just going to cancel out the minus pi here. So this is the answer. And I can see then it's in this form. The a 
if we're asked then is 4 pi plus 8, it's in terms of pi. And the other constant b, which is also in terms of pi, is pi squared over 2. Okay, 